and hello espresso agent nation welcome hope you guys are having a good week glad you're here it's just two uh two o'clock our time right now and we appreciate everybody that is here on time but i know we will still be having some people file in as agents do right Aim? realtor time realtor time uh anyway so uh for those of you who have not been on one of these mastery session calls uh, welcome so happy you're here espresso agent is just the best about being invested in your overall success I mean they certainly provide one of the best tools for success and that I think is in the market but additionally they're bringing all these experts in to show you and shorten your learning curve on other techniques to making money and that's really what I think is the best thing about learning from others um, is sort of that shortening of the, the learning curve, right, Aim? As, as easy as that is, keep it simple and copy and paste and That's read. Right. So. That's right. No need to reinvent the wheel. All right, we're going to get started. I'm going to introduce you, and then I'm going to let you take it away. Um, guys, just a little housekeeping. If you, uh, we have everybody muted, and that's for your own benefit, uh, so that you can hear Amy and, and uh, everything she's saying. But if you want to ask a question, we really encourage that and want you to ask a question. So feel free to go down to the bottom of your bar. And if you want to just do the chat, you can also do Q&A, but if everybody just does the chat, then I can see it more easily. Click in the chat, go ahead and type your question. I'll monitor it as we go through, and if I can interject the question around when we're talking about it, I will. Otherwise, I will come back to it at the end, and we'll make sure to get all your questions answered, all right? Um, so use that chat bar. Feel free anytime. Amy's an open book, that's for sure. We know that. So Amy Brokhammer is with us today. She's in Cincinnati. I'm in Cincinnati, but we're not together. I don't know why. It's just easier, <laughs> I guess. Whatever. Um, Amy is a top producing agent in our market. She is extremely well known in our market, especially for her reputation of selling 100% of her listings. And the way she does that is uh, through extreme communication, um, extreme pre-qualification, all the things we're all told to do all the time and we think sounds great, but then when we get faced with an opportunity to go list, we get our car and we go list the thing. So um, we have a lot to learn from Amy in that way and specifically today she's going to be talking about video and how to use video um, to strengthen your communication process with your clients. She's got a really efficient, effective team here. She has an operations manager and then she has a buyer's agent. And the three of them kind of knock it out of the park. And the best thing about all that is Amy does not work weekends or evenings, generally speaking. I'm sure there are a few exceptions, but generally speaking, she's at home with her boys and her husband. And uh, we could all learn something from that too, Amy. I don't know how you do it. You just do. So take it away. Tell us how to use video. All right. Well, I, I just wanted to kind of set the stage a little bit. You did a great job of, of setting the stage. And just to be, you know, entirely transparent, um, I do have two boys and one of them is six and a half and the other one is five. And I started using video in my business pretty heavily three and a half years ago. That was after the kids were born and I still had a full-time buyer's agent and I had um, a part-time assistant at the time. And I was trying to find ways, I'm a very high D personality, and I like to be as efficient as possible with my time. And again, at the time, I just had a part-time assistant. And I was trying to find ways to do more with the time I had because I only had the time really to concentrate between 7.30 and 4.30 every day, which is when my nanny comes, I leave, and get to work. So I started using it for email video automated communications. Um, what I did was I said, um, what are things that I answer all the time? What are things that I say all the time? And why don't I just start recording those and then create a campaign? Um, and you know, I really believe that at the end of the day, when I started creating those campaigns, it saved me, first of all, me time, repeating myself all the time. And it saved me from having to hire a full-time person that a lot of agents hire, you know, an admin 
to do all that communication with their clients because they don't have time to do it. Or what's worse, the agent doesn't communicate with their clients and then they either don't get the deal done or the clients don't like them, so they never get referrals. So I know I'm doing a lot of talking, but I just wanted to put into perspective when I started doing video, why I started doing video, and there were like unexpected kind of results. So that was about three and a half, four years ago when I started using video for this process. Um, and my business, this is hard for me to admit because I'm such a competitive person, but there were times in my business especially when the kids came, where I was saying, I'm not growing this year. I'm going to maintain. And it's really hard for me to say I'm not growing. Um, so I'm right at a $12 million business. And in my market, that's about, depending on, you know, where we're lucky enough to fall with price points, between 40 and 55 sales a year. And what I found with implementing video in my business is that, you know, I'm a listing specialist. I have a buyer specialist. So all I do is listings. With implementing video and the process that I use to sell 100% of my listings and that, you know, pre-qualification process and all of that, putting all these great tools together with using video has helped me stay at 12 million, okay? And so last year in 2016, I decided to start my course sell 100% of your listings. So I took my real estate business that I was spending 100% of my time at, and I started spending 50% of my time at. And then the other 50 with my course. And my business stayed the same because I had these systems and tools in place on the real estate side of my business that they were automated. They were already done. And I just plugged in. And now this year in 2017, I've taken on another opportunity and I'm really excited about it. And so now my business is staying at 12 million and I'm spending time on my course and I'm spending time on launching a new video email product for the real estate industry. Which is perfect. And I'm still perfect. keeping my business at 12 million, right? I have a team behind me. We have the tools in place and we just plug and play. So, you know, the reason why I wanted to share that with everyone today is to, to let you know that, you know, using video and putting systems in place does things for your business to allow you to either have more time or make more money. And in my case, you know, I've compartmentalized my family time to be in the evenings and weekends. And any flexibility I need to go to graduations or school parades or anything like that during the week. And then I've been able to start two other businesses um, along with my real estate. So it's entirely possible for you guys to compartmentalize your business and still have a life at the very basic. And it's entirely possible for a single agent to be able to function even without an assistant for quite a while if you've got some systems in place um, or even a part-time assistant because I don't know about you, Monica, but a, but a salary on top of what I'm responsible for is a lot of money yeah. uh, to pay. And so if, if we can figure out ways to be efficient in our communication, um, it can kind of back some of that out. So what it sounds like to me is how, how we've all kind of been taught to leverage through people is what we've been taught along the way. Now what you're saying is there is a way to leverage through video that is equally as efficient. Maybe you can't take the place of every need, but it certainly can leverage yourself away from some need for those salaries. Yes, and I think it's, it's leveraging through video and technology. And part of the reason why video is so impactful is because it does build rapport so quickly got it and when you build rapport quicker you convert the leads faster or you need to do less convincing because you're seen as an authority through the video and you can just roll right through the process so much faster if that yeah. makes sense to you that does make sense a lot okay so what are we going to talk about today so today we're going to talk about how you can convert more leads faster with video Okay. Um, so that would include um, how to set yourself apart, uh, how to convert the leads faster, 
how to how to show authentic communication via video. There's going to be uh, some examples that I can show you. And um, if you guys on the call um, type in a web address, which I'll put in the comments, you can get a bonus item that I've created. And that is one of the most uh, highly um, gotten bonuses out there right now, which is 75 ways to use video in your business. On the front, there's 36, and on the back, there's the remainder of the 75, and these are all real estate specific. And can you introduce Storyteller since you showed the... the yeah. Um, this is the name of the, the video company that you're, you're launching. So I just put the link to the um, landing page on the chat. So all you have to do is go there, put in your email address, and you'll get a copy of the download. But Storyteller is the product that I'm working on putting together, and it's... Um, it's created for realtors by realtors with everything that I've learned as to how to use video to leverage yourself and to create, um, you know, warm leads in your business so that you can, you know, really kind of boost your business, scale your business, and either have more time or money, whichever you choose. And will you be partnering with Espresso Agent um, as the tool integrated or it would be something available to Espresso Agents? Possibly in the distant future, in a couple of years, um, but not immediately. We hope to be able to launch our standalone product in the fall of this year. Great. So Espresso agents will have an opportunity to do that, and who knows if we can create a uh, partnership with them in the future to be able to help. Okay. But needless to say, everybody that's an Espresso Agent member is going to get a lot of great tools that they can start to implement now Great. Uh, with the tools that they have in place. Perfect. Oh, the link, uh, somebody said I don't see the link. It's back up at the top. It's uh, Yeah, do not give me your email address. You have to go to this link, amyb.com forward slash EA. Put your email in there. And then... Um, then you'll be able to get the download. Let Perfect. me share my screen if that's okay with you. Yeah. So the next. I, got, I saw several pictures about how to integrate, um, use video with expireds and, and FISBOs. And guys, we'll, we'll talk about some ideas. I, I know Amy has some ideas on how to do that. So we'll get there. Absolutely. Um, where to, Monica? Well, let's uh, let's see. Um, well, let's talk about the the. You went through the webinar kind of points, right? Did you do that already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did that already. So, okay, let's talk about three reasons to use video. All right. So the top three reasons to use video. Um, again, my high D personality always brings me to efficiency and saving time. So. You know, especially you were talking about FISBOs and expires, especially in that situation, you know, how many agents are calling a single expired or for sale by owner on a daily basis? And how do you set yourself apart from all of those agents calling? Everybody's got the same lines. Everybody's got the same scripts. Everybody's, you know, got the same ability to convert that lead. How do you do it differently? And, um, you know, what if you're the only one sending a video? You're the only one out of 30 agents sending a video. What does that video do? I mean, what are you seeing right now when you see me? Do I look like a person that knows what I'm talking about in terms of selling real estate? Do I present myself well? Can I put sentences together? You know, am I smiling? Am I relatable? Um, do you get a vibe for who I am just by, you know, looking at me on the screen for, for 15 seconds. Um, it, it just completely sets you apart. And that connection with the sound, think about your senses, you know, the sound of the voice, the tone of the voice, the confidence in the voice, the way that you present yourself, it just sets you up for success. And, you know, when you're talking about branding yourself, why do you brand yourself? It's because you want to create an, an authority, right? You want to be an authority. And video makes you an authority like that. Absolutely. It really doesn't take much. Um, 
And so if you want to be an authority, get on the, um, the video, you know, train. And I really think that you'll be able to maximize your authority in front of everyone. Yeah, you know, it's one thing I hear from agents who are, are making expired and FISBO calls is, uh, you know, they, it's hard to stand out because you're using the same scripts and they don't know me and I hate the way, you know, this is so cold and, and so distant and not personal. And if you want to be able to shine through, this is the way to do that, right? And as you said, stand out. Yeah, it's, um, I saw that somebody said that that link wasn't working, so yeah. I'm going to just copy and paste it directly. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's an authentic way to communicate. So think about it. Even if there's a video of you talking about some aspect of real estate and you didn't essentially make it for that individual person, they don't know that. They think you made it for them. And they feel connected to you as a result. It's a, it's a big deal. And um, they don't need to know that you didn't make it for them. But they feel like you did. And that's, that's the difference. Um, so the, the video, what it does is it, they say that in three to seven seconds, that when you meet somebody, you decide if you trust them and if they're competent. Those are quickly decided in three to seven seconds. So one of the, Monica, what's the, what, what do they say in this business? Um, the minute you get a lead, what are you supposed to do? The minute you get a lead, you're supposed to call them. Why are you supposed to do that? Because time kills all opportunities. And so what are you going to do when you call them? What's the goal of the call when you call them? Get the appointment. And why do you want the appointment? So that you can make an impression in front of them and connect with them in a human way. Right. So you want to connect with them in front of them. Yep. How quickly can you get to an appointment? Well, not as quickly as you probably need to. So let's just say you get a lead right now. When do you think you can meet with that person face to face? Realistically, it would probably be tomorrow night or the next night. Okay. Yeah. What if you got a lead and you already had a video recorded and all you had to do was forward it to them? And within 15 seconds of getting the lead, they met you face to face and created a connection. It would be amazing. It would be a difference maker, I think. I mean, the point of meeting with someone quickly is to create the connection so that they don't continue to look for other people, right? Right, right. So the sooner you can create the connection, and, and is the connection the same if it's a text message or a, or a typed out email? No. Or is it on another level if it's a face to face? No, it's got to be on another level face to face. Um, I did link, I did click on that link. It is working. So I'm not sure. Um, oh, you know that? what? It's EA. EA. Yeah, you did that though. The next one at 215. You did yeah. EA. Somebody did AM. The one you posted at 215, guys, that one works. I just clicked on it. amyb.com forward slash EA for espresso agent. Yep. So sorry. So Amy, now let me let me ask you a question because yes, pre-recorded is fine, but wouldn't it be even more effective if I said, "Hey Amy, it's Monica Weekly with Keller Williams. Sarah just gave me your name. I'm so excited to meet you. I wanted to get this video out right away. I will call you tonight at four o'clock so we can get time together. Can't wait to meet you. I'm looking forward to getting your house sold. Absolutely. Okay. If you have the time and the ability to do that like that. Absolutely. Okay. But here's the other one. Hi, it's Monica. Thanks so much for reaching out about selling your house. I can't wait to get started with you. I'm going to call you as soon as I get out of the appointment I'm in. So look for a call from me in just a few minutes. Thanks. Perfect. You can use that every time. They wouldn't have even known. That's perfect. I mean, it's nice that you said my name, but what if you can't? Like, don't yeah. make it harder than it needs to be. Got you it. Know? Got um, it. And if you do have the ability to do it, then great. Um, but, you know, video, the, the, the magic of video is that it creates trust or it doesn't create trust, one or the other. I mean, if they don't trust you, they don't trust you. So well, they're not going to trust you anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're going to waste so, your time. 
So a couple of really great resources for trust and in people that we know. My favorite is Harvard psychologist Amy Cuddy, and she's got a great article in Wired magazine, if you ever look that up. And it talks about how people size someone up in the first three to seven seconds when they meet and what they're looking for and what they look at. Um, and so that's what I use when we're creating my pre-qualification and my um, pricing and strategy meeting in my course, sell 100% of your listings. We use all of these psychological components to make sure that we're taking advantage of this. So trust is the conduit for influence. It's the medium through which ideas travel. Huge. Um, and I think I need to share that on my screen here. I wrote her name in there for you guys that are, who want to look her up. There it is. That's Amy Cuddy. She's got a great book out right now called Presence. Um, she does a lot of research on uh, the power of body language. Cool. Um, John Maxwell is another one that we all know. People will not follow you if they do not trust you. Trust is the foundation of leadership. So, you know, not to harp on this, but you can get a million leads. You've got to get them to trust you before you can do anything else, anything. Um, it's, it's the absolute most important thing. And then our own, you know, favorite Zig Ziglar. If people like you, they'll listen to you. If they trust you, they'll do business with you. Even That's better. Even better. Hey, Aim, while we're going through this, if you guys could, um, in the chat bar, if you guys could write some of the reasons you don't want to use video. Like, what are your concerns? What are your um, fears? Give us a few things so that uh, when we round out at the end, too, we can kind of help you with some of those objections. Okay. Hey, I had a question for you, Monica. Yeah. You have really started using video a lot this year. I have. What, what caused you to just start using video? Well, um, if I'm being uh, completely transparent, I was seeing other people like yourself, quite frankly, um, lucky enough to be in your market and watch what you're doing and watch the success that you're having with it. So I watched it working. Um, I also completely buy into the idea of connection um, in this business, and there's just not a better way. And I also loved that it enabled me to um, show sort of a level of advancement in the industry. So other agents are sort of old school if they're not using this, and I'm more cutting edge. And what else is Monica cutting edge in? Uh, if she's using video to communicate all the time, does she have some other cool techniques that she's doing that others aren't? So it just, it felt like I was out in front of, of the, the industry, I think is why I was doing it. Plus, it's fun. I like it. It shows, you know, it enables you to show your personality. Um, and that's, I guess that's the best answer I can give you. Yeah, so um, you kind of said this, but what are the results that you're seeing from it? Like, is there anything that surprised you that was the result of using video? And, and let's be clear, you know, we're kind of talking about Facebook Lives here and, and a lot of use with Facebook Lives to people that already know you, like you, and love you. Yes. And you're not being a secret agent anymore. You're telling everybody that you're a realtor and you're wanting to sell or help them, yep. whatever it may be. You're sharing yep. what's going on in your life. You're being extremely authentic. And um, what was what was the surprise to you as a result of doing this, using this video? The surprise by far to me was, so, so you do the video, whether it's live or, or not, and you get, you know, the likes and the, the hearts and the comments and the whatever. And you get that normal group that's always kind of answering you in the call. The, by far, the biggest surprise is who was watching that I had no idea. People are watching, even if they don't. I call them the voyeurs of Facebook. They're like on there all the time and they never engage. But they are influencers. They are sources of referrals. They are your fans. They're just not engagers. And so by far, it was the people that I would see out. Um, I use My Agent Monica as kind of my name and people would be like, hey, there's My Agent Monica. There's My Agent Monica. And never once had they commented or liked. Uh, and then Facebook private messaging. Hey, I'm loving your videos. I feel like you're talking to me every time. You know, I had a question for you, blah, blah, blah. So I guess that is the thing I'm learning the most. And would you say you've kind of seen that too, where you just had no idea who was actually watching? 
Um, no doubt. In business and in real life. Yeah. Um, that's the secret sauce right there, I think. I posted a video last Friday, and I don't even know some of the people that commented on it or shared stories with me. And it's it's unbelievable. People I haven't talked to in years. So, I mean, it's just it's amazing that your voice, the way you talk, your face allows you to just connect so deeply with people that they feel like they know you. And, you know, it's just in this business where we're dealing with people's largest financial instrument, mm -hmm. you've got to have trust. Um, and you've got to demonstrate that you're, you're competent and you know what you're doing. And I don't know a better way to do that than with video. You're right. You're right. No, absolutely. And yeah. showing that you're human is how people connect with you and they want to do business with you. So if you come out and you say, you know, you're honest about something going on in your family and you're struggling with, you know, I don't know, somebody in your family's battling addiction or something, and somebody else has that same thing and they need to sell their house, connection and really powerful. So everything you're doing is a form of uh, lead gen, if you want to look at it that way. I know that sounds really cold, but it's really about just letting people know who you are. And that is lead gen in our business. It is. I mean, generating leads can be done a million different ways. Yeah. And I prefer to do it on a relationship mm -hmm. level instead of a, a you know, uh, on lead opportunity. So. Mm -hmm. Um, it takes longer to establish relationships. It takes more authenticity to do it. Mm -hmm. But man, once you have it, again, I don't stay at 12 million a year and not have had 12 years of putting in the time and the work with these people so that they're just giving me leads constantly. Mm -hmm. I'm by referral only. That's it. Right. So that's a heck of an amount of people sending business our way because you know, they feel connected to us. They feel like we're like them. And, you know, we we over communicate with them probably through our systems and our videos. And they feel like, you know, they know what's going on. Yeah. And, and it brings more business and it makes sure that our connections are strong so that we have those lifelong connections with our clients to have a lifelong business. That's pretty darn steady. You got it. And let me just pull that because I know your referral by, you know, by re your business is refer by referral. These guys, of course, are calling expireds and FISBOs, which is the fastest way to business. Mm -hmm. and the way you can build your business so then you can decide if you want to be referrals only or not. Well, like lead gen, continue that. If you don't, now you've built your business enough that you can do what Amy's doing. So. And to be fair, I started with FISBOs for two or three years, just straight up for sell by owners. And I just did an amazing job for them. And I continued to ask them who they knew that would like the same level of service. And from there, I was able to grow to this next level. I don't know that many people. I'm actually an introvert. So mm -hmm. how I did that was just doing the right thing and always serving the client. Yeah. Um, uh, guys, this video that she's talking about that she put out, and you're probably at over 2,500 views on that thing by now, maybe 3,000, I don't know, but it was on Facebook. And um, she just shared some really personal challenges in her life, and oh my gosh, did she get connections. So, But that's, let's, let's march on to some of these other like sort of tactical things people yep. can do too, because they can go check out your Facebook page, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, for sure. It's all, it's all out there. Um, so just a couple of statistics about video that I that I found really cool. 79% um, of consumers said that they would rather watch a video than read text on a page. No. Now, one of the things that I shared in my video last Friday was that I have dyslexia. And I can't spell or do math. Okay, that's me. Let me tell you about how video changed that for me. Now when I send a, an email, all I have to do is press record, look into this camera and say, hey, Monica, I just wanted to let you know that we got the appraisal in your house and we're all good. Next step is start packing. The link below to our recommended mover, call them and start packing. All right, thanks, have a great weekend. Awesome. 30 seconds, I'm done. I don't have to type it, I don't have to proofread it, I don't have to go back, it's done. It's so easy.
That's awesome. Um, yeah, and, and, and somebody would rather watch that than read it. I have a video on my YouTube, which is Amy Broghammer, and I'll put, put my name in there. Um, and it's about how to get a price reduction on video. So that's how I choose to get price reductions on my listings is, is I make a video. And that video goes to both, both parties, right, the husband and the wife or the decision makers. They both receive the video. They both can absorb the video on their own time when it makes sense to them. And I have a call to action on the video like says, respond to this email by telling me that you're okay to go to 189.9 today. Call to action. So you get I, to do it the way you want to do it. Make sure it sounds right instead of being in front of them and like getting all flustered and whatever, and you get to uh, show them your documentation if you want to do a share screen, I guess, right? Do you use Zoom uh, to do these recordings? The the video that I, I just use my video camera to do it, or I'll okay. use a smartphone. Okay. Uh, if I show them a report, which I do do, um, I'll show them the report, and I'll just, like, do this, and then I'll put a link to the report that they can look at in the email. Um, okay. But to your point, you know, you don't want to call somebody at work um, and catch them off guard or where they're not in private to talk with you. It's just the best way to do it. And I have a 100% success rate at asking for price adjustments on video. Um, psychologically, it's never good to put somebody on the spot with bad news or asking them to make a, a decision on a phone call. Um, so it's always better to give them a little time to absorb, and that's what using video does. And also I love it because it gives the same message to both parties so that they can both hear the same message and come to the same conclusion. Um, and I do, I do have an example of that on my YouTube, and also um, I post story tips on Facebook and or YouTube. So those are all on the Storyteller accounts. There's 12 now out there for you guys to see how video is used in business. And also, um, you know, we're giving away 75 ways to use video in your business. 12 of these have been used. We're still working on the rest. Perfect. And guys, the system she's using is not really a system. She has a Logitech, probably a Logitech uh, camera, or you can use the camera on your computer, and you just use the video system on your computer to create the video and then send it. Yeah, so great question and point, Monica. There's three super easy ways to use video or to, you know, get a camera. First of all, uh -huh. your, your phone, your smartphone, which everyone should have if they're a realtor, has the best camera that you can get in it. Um, and it's the easiest way to take video. So everybody has one of these. There's no reason why you can't start with video. Um, furthermore, all you have to do is get on Facebook and you can reach every friend you have by going live. Super easy. You're right. I, um, I like the Logitech HD 180p uh, webcam. It's got a great um, HD video camera and microphone in it. So it works really, really well. It's the best in the business. That's the one I have. Yeah, it's the best. And then you know, most laptops these days um, definitely have an internal camera, which is great. The only thing with the laptop internal camera is it's generally not as quality as your HD or even your phone. And the camera in the laptop, if it's sitting on a desk, it really needs to be elevated to above your head. So you need your camera to be kind of up here. And so you might have to rig some stuff up to get your laptop camera working just the way you want. But um, almost everybody has a laptop camera or a smartphone. Super easy. Perfect. And Storyteller, guys, is S-T-O-R-Y-T-E-L-L-R. -L -L There's no E-R. It's just T-E-L-L-R. And you can go to that YouTube page. Um, that's the YouTube page she was talking about. Right? Yep. Okay. I, I did type it in, too. Perfect. Cool. Um, you, you're giving some good stats. Do you have any others that you wanted to share? Just um, one of the best ones, I think, is 
This one. 81% of businesses using video link the use of video to a direct increase in sales. Okay. For realtors, that means they hired you to either buy, help them buy, or sell. And one of the stories that I like to tell around video is I have a five-point campaign that goes to people that reach out to me and say, hey, Amy, I want to list my house. Um, I'd like to talk with you about listing it. And so I send them a series of five videos that start immediately from the time I get the lead. So depending on if I'm, you know, if it's seven o'clock at night and I'm not working, but I can put them on this drip campaign really easy, they start getting the videos, you know, um, and it's a video a day for five days. By the time I get to their house, like I'll do a phone call, and all of that, by the time I get to their house to meet them for the very first time, this happens all the time, I, I kid you not here. I walk up to the front door of the house of people that I've never met. Now, to be fair, they may have been referred to me by someone that we have a connection with, but I've never met them. And they open the door and they give me a hug. A hug. Because they're like, they know you. Yeah. And they say, oh my gosh, it's Amy. I feel like I know you. I've been watching your videos. Or they'll call me the video girl or whatever. But the bottom line is, how easy do you think that listing presentation is going to be for me? When I walk in the door and they already hugged me, they like me, they trust me, they know me, they've already met me on videos, so they don't have that apprehension of, oh, what's she going to sound like? What's she going to look like? What's she going to, you know, because there's some stress there. It's sure. all gone. <clears throat> That's awesome. And it's smooth sailing. So, I mean, who wouldn't want to walk into an opportunity um, like that with, you know, you might as well walk in with a big iced cake. <laughs> That's, That's a good idea, too. Hey. It's, yeah. So, in, so 81% of people linked the use of video to hiring someone. Um, and I'm telling you, very few agents are using video. Very few. Um, I agree. Well, what's a way, like if people are a little apprehensive, what's a way we can get started? It looks like you've got some examples here. What are um, some like toe in the water kind of video? A toe in the water. A really great one is Facebook Live. Okay. So easy. Okay, so a couple of tips or things you might not know about Facebook Live. Uh, you can go live to only yourself. You can go live to another person. So I could send you only, Monica, a live video if I wanted mm -hmm. to talk with you. You can go live in a group, or if you've organized your friends into, so I organized all my friends in Facebook into like clients and friends and realtors. So if I want to speak to realtors, I can go live just to realtors because I've categorized my friends that way, right? Really great way to do it where you're not burdening, you know, friends or how, however you want to individualize it. Facebook now has allowed you, I don't know if you know this, but now you can go live from your laptop. You don't have to use a phone anymore. It used to be you could only do it from your phone. So you can go live on the laptop camera right there in your office. You don't need to, you know, set up your phone and get a selfie stick and all of that. You can go live right there. Um, yeah. The thing that I think, I don't know how you feel about this. I'd love to get your, your comments. But I think most people get nervous about when they go live, they think, oh, what if no one watches? What if no one's following? And what I want to say to that is who cares? Because that video gets posted after you take it. And most of the time, the people watch it five, ten hours later don't even know it's not live. They mm -hmm. don't even realize it. Mm -hmm. um, what was your, did you have any apprehension or question about that when you started doing your live videos? Um, sometimes I like it that nobody's on it because it's a distraction. Yeah. Um, because you want to, you want to acknowledge the people that are there. That's part of sort of the nuance of it, I think. But so sometimes it's nice if you're really trying to get across a point to not be distracted by the bubbles that are popping up, and you're saying, "Oh, hey, Sally, hey, John, hey, whatever," and you do get 
more credit within Facebook, meaning your video will stay up longer if you're doing live and if people are commenting, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, I found that more people watch my video after I post it than I do when they're on. And it's, it's always there. It's, you know, kind of evergreen at that point. And you can also download it if you want. You can upload it into Facebook. Or, I mean, you can upload it into YouTube if it was something that you want to share. I know um, a couple months ago I, I had a little rant on Facebook Live about three things that buyers should know. Um, before they hire a realtor, because there are a lot of realtors out there right now kind of not really doing the right thing. And um, I decided to download that and upload it to YouTube so that it would be easier for me to reach in case I needed to share it with somebody easier. So Perfect. it's, you know, it's a really easy way and, and you can record your video. Um, you can record a video in your phone directly into YouTube now. So if you have a YouTube account, you just go to YouTube and you click record video and you just record a video. You can record it live into YouTube, but most people don't have many YouTube subscribers. Right. So, but it doesn't matter That's because cool. it records it straight in there so that it's uploaded. And then in the future, if, if say you want to record a video and Monica, you're listing your house with me and I want to record a quick video to you to tell you how showings work. Yes. I never want to repeat that again. How great would that be, guys, if you never had to tell them how showing time or whatever system you're yeah. using works? Ah. So basically, I could record a video and say how showings work, put it on YouTube, and then send you an email with that link and say, you know, in my email, hey, Monica, this is how showings work. Watch the video. Let me know if you have any questions. Ah. Those are hours and hours you're saving in a year. At the I mean, I think if you had a phone call and how many times would you play phone tag with that person before you got them on the phone so that you could explain it? So great. 45 minutes maybe per deal. If you do 20 listings a year, I mean, that's, a, that's a less than 20 hours, but that's a yeah. lot of time talking about the same thing that you could have just recorded at once and sent a link. Right? So everybody can write down right now like the top three things you say all the damn time. It's almost a script by now. Write those down and those will be your first videos. Go make a YouTube page, put them out there, and you can send the link, right? Absolutely. It's so easy. I love that. Um, I was going to ask you something else. Um, oh, an idea for your first Facebook Live because, Amy, I actually think for most of us, you say that's like the easy toe in the water thing. I think for most of us that's – that's video 2.0 because that just requires some serious moments of courage for a lot of people. But what if it sounded like, and you tell me what you, you know, other first ideas are, but it would be, hey guys, it's my first live Facebook video. I don't know. Tell me how you think I'm doing. But here's why I want to do this because when a house comes on the market or I have an important real estate tip, I want you to get it as fast as possible. So I'm going to be using live video to get it out to you as quickly as possible. Like something like that or what else? Absolutely. Absolutely. And think about it. Like you don't have to, it, it's just the reason why I say it's the fastest and easiest way. And I get what you're saying. It, it, it is kind of a 2.0, but it's, mm -hmm. everybody has a phone. Everybody has Facebook. You can do it in an instant. It's not like you have to sign up for a program or buy a package or you know, right. do something crazy. Everybody has it at their fingertips. You just have to kind of jump into a really cold pool really fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I agree with what you're saying, but again, again, just like with using video in general, very few people are doing Facebook Live. Yep. Um, and I think I saw a statistic that 55% of people watch a video all the way through. It wow. doesn't matter how long it is. So wow. half of people watch everything. That being said, though, what do you recommend for us for client engagement lengthwise? Okay, so I have a couple of different tips, so I can't directly answer your question, but one of the tips I've heard is the less you know someone, the shorter the video should be. The less you know, the shorter the video. Got it. The more in relationship with you are that you are with someone, the longer you can take it. Okay. Um. And if we're talking about videos like, hey, I'm going to tell you how showings work, or this is what happens with earnest money, or, you know, things like that, you should keep them under two minutes. 
Okay. Just be as succinct as possible with it. And I find that I'm a rambler if I don't have some bullet points. So it really helps to just have some bullet points. I would never recommend anyone read a script word for word. Never recommend using a teleprompter. That's only for president of the United States to use. Um, Just be authentic. Have some bullet points to keep you on track. There's no reason why you can't refer to them. If you watch some of my live videos, you'll see me holding my cards with my bullets just so I'm staying on track and making sure I'm getting the message through. So you're Um, saying it's okay for us to be talking to a client and say, I've got three things I just want to run by you real quick. First of all, and back at it. And second of all, and back at it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's it's just normal. It's professional Uh, in some way. Yeah. Yeah. And then if we're talking about length for Facebook Live, they generally say that you need to be on for more than two minutes to engagement um, and really make it a video worth kind of posting and keeping. Um, So it kind of, you kind of want to make those a little bit longer, but it's just a different topic when you're on Facebook Live. Okay. Um, what other kind of videos, though, can we use if we're not ready to jump onto that yet? If you're not ready to go into Facebook Live? Yes. Um, okay, so here we were talking before a lot of um, FISBO and expired people, right, on this call? Yeah. Yep. Let me show you this video. This is an agent that I've worked with, and she is making videos for her expired process, okay? And this is kind of going to be a part of what we do in Storyteller. So watch this video that goes out to, it's either expireds or FISBOs, I honestly don't remember. So hopefully you guys can hear this. Whoops. Nope, can't hear that, there we go. Oh, here it comes. Hey, it's Jennifer Mertland here from Team Synergy at Keller Williams. I know you're getting a ton of calls right now. You're probably being bombarded because your home has come off the computer and it's finished in the MLS. So, hey, listen, I have a couple of great ideas that will get your home sold. So, why don't you text me, 578-2633. That's 513-578-2633. We'll chat for five minutes. I mean, her, it, it, for those of you guys who don't know her, her personality is showing through in that video. Like, what you see there is exactly who she is. Is she not? Is it not? It so is. Only and, for five minutes. and how many people do you think got her message via video and in exchange got a text message, an email, or a phone call message, voicemail? Oh my gosh, so many more. And you're either going to connect with that or not. And the whole thing is, if you're not, that's okay. She didn't have a chance anyway. She might have gone out there and wasted a bunch of time in front of them and didn't have a chance, right? Yep. That's yep. Speak to that high D that just wants quick answers and quick results. I love it. Here's another one. This is an easy one. I call this an evergreen video, which is what we were talking about before, Monica, where you don't use a name but they feel like you're talking to them. So watch this video and tell me if if this could feel like it was your birthday, okay? Yep. Happy birthday to you from the Amy B. Sells team. We're so glad to have you a part of our real estate family, and we wish you the very best year ahead. We hope you have some really fun plans to celebrate, and you get your wishes. Have a great birthday. Nice. Now, if you delivered me that cupcake, that would feel a lot more personal. I'm just telling you. It, hey, and you know what, Monica? There are a subset of people in my database that I will deliver cupcakes to. That's awesome. That's awesome. But I if it. I can read everyone on their birthday with this video, this is way better than what I was doing before I recorded this video, which was nothing. <laughs> right, right. Good point. It's free. It's easy. It's fast. All right, give us some tips, some basic tips that we have to follow when we're doing video. All right, well, number one, do not use a script. Do not read from a script. Do not use a teleprompter. You've got to uh, bullet point things, okay? That's the most authentic way to do it. Always have a smile. You know what? A lot of people don't want to do video because they don't like the way they look. I've got news for you. 
They're going to see what you look like eventually. <laughs> Well, you know what, in fairness, I did see one post in here, and I'll go back to it. She said one of the reasons she doesn't is she felt like she didn't have a photogenic face. And while I do understand what she's saying, though, is like some people just don't have a comfort level with seeing themselves in pictures or whatever. So how, how do we get over that? I mean, I don't like seeing myself either. So I just <laughs> don't, don't either. I don't rewatch the video. And to be honest with you, um, the way I look at recording videos is like, a visual voicemail okay mm -hmm. so all I do is look into the camera the camera's right here you can see my fingers that's yep. where I'm looking I'm not looking at myself down here in the image I'm looking up here and I just say what I need to say just like I would in a voicemail and then I hit stop mm -hmm. and I send it I don't watch it I don't scrutinize myself you know just send it because videos don't have to be perfect and that's a really important point mm -hmm. they don't need to be you know, highly produced, the higher production of a video, the less they feel like they're connected to you. Mm -hmm. You mess up if you say a word wrong, if you say um or uh, or whatever, that's you being relatable to them and them seeing themselves in you and thinking, oh, well, I can, I think we should hire Monica. She seems to be just like us, you know? Mm -hmm. Great. Um, Thank you. So, you know, don't worry about being perfect and then actually a little bit of imperfection is endearing and, and it helps with the connection. Um, the other things I would say are making sure that if you have light in the space, and I know, you know, you and I talked about this in your office, you moved your setup because before your light was behind you coming through the windows and it was creating darkness on your face. Mm -hmm. So they always say in video that, um, the lighting and the sound are really important. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I really like the Logitech camera because the, the microphone is amazing. The quality is, is amazing. And then all you need to do is have light right in front of yourself. Um, do you have that light up there that I, that I gave you? I have a bigger one, the umbrella one now. Yeah. Yeah, so all you have to do is make sure that the light is in your face. Um, even when I do a Facebook Live, if I usually do it sitting in my car. I have to move my car so that wherever the sun is is coming in my direction so that it's not really dark. Um, and then never do, do it in the wind or something like that because if they can't hear you, it's just not going to work. Yeah, sure. Um, okay. Let's see what else. Um, oh, Whoa. go ahead. This shirt today. I'm sure you guys can see that it's striped mm -hmm. and kind of psychedelic. My bad. Not such a good wow. pick there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I said not your best pick for your shirt for the video. You're the one that told me that. I know. So you're always supposed to wear solid colors in videos um, because when your video resizes, it starts to look kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. um, so you always want to wear solid colors. I, I kind of forgot that when I got dressed this morning. But um, it, it just helps minimize the distractions and things like that. And it allows the video to scale a little bit better when it makes it as big as a phone, for example. Makes sense. Um, so we talked a little bit about some excuses that people are going to throw up. But um, one thing that somebody wrote here was it's too – one of the feedbacks we got was she feels like it's too expensive um, and kind of don't know where to start. So, I mean, honestly, with your phone, it costs nothing. If you want to invest in a camera and a light, what are you, maybe in 200 bucks to have a really good setup? I mean, is that about right? 200 I mean, I think the Logitech camera is $60. Um, and you and I both, I know earlier this year, we're just using lamps without the shades on them. That's true. I mean, yeah, you can get in for under $100, but just your phone, that, just, there's no cost to this. Just a phone and a good window with light coming through it, and that's all you need to make a video, really. So since they can't use Storyteller just yet, now Storyteller will be a, de a delivery method for the video as well, correct? Well, you can record the videos yep. and deliver the videos, um, and then it will allow you to use the videos in multiple ways, um, on social media or uploading them to YouTube or sending them an email or text. So, And there are a couple other products like that on the market right now, but you'll have to do Storyteller in the fall. 
In the fall, we'll, we'll be offering that. And again, I mean, it's really easy to just record a video on your phone, save it in there. Um, also, I often will record a number of videos on my phone and put them in a Google, um, Google Drive mm. in a folder. And then once you upload those to that Google Drive, you can get a link and share the link with anybody at any time. Um, or you can upload them to YouTube, just like I was telling you with those showing instructions, and just send the link to YouTube, and that'll get YouTube traffic going for you. Um, you know, there's other subscription services like BombBomb Bomb that offer video delivery. Um, so, you know, there's a number of ways to do it. Uh, I just think Facebook Live is the easiest, fastest, mm -hmm. you know, at your fingertips way to do it. Um, to if get your clients it. aren't on Facebook, then you can just use traditional email as well. The video is not too long, right? Absolutely. Um, well, it doesn't matter how long the video is. I wouldn't ever upload a video to an email because the sizing is crazy big. Oh. But again, if you put it into Google Drive, you can get that link. Got you it. Can put the link in there. Okay. Um, and if you put it into YouTube and you grab a link from YouTube, most of the time it'll give you a thumbnail which is even better when you have a thumbnail or an image, people are more apt to play that video versus just a link. And not be suspicious of it. Yeah, that's true. Right, right. So I guess in general, guys, as far as excuses go, I mean, yeah, if you're worried about the way you look on it, if you're worried about the pricing, if you're worried about this, you're worried about that, you know, you guys have to just decide. You want video to be a part of your uh, communication process and the way you stand out to clients or do you not if you do want that then those are just a few small hurdles to get over and you can get over them very easily I think and um, you know Facebook me or Facebook Amy and we'll help you for sure you know practice makes perfect um, uh, it took me a year to learn how to drive a car and even longer to learn how to drive a bike without train wheels uh, wait a second what <laughs> it took you a year to drive a car yeah yeah, it wasn't good, but you're over sharing. Kind of like practice, 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 and you're going to get better. Uh, somebody told me yesterday, you're so good on video, you don't even say any of the like little things that people get annoyed by. And I said, listen, it took me a long time to, to perfect that. And, you know, the more you do it, the more comfortable you become, and the more natural it looks and feels. And that authenticity and relatability changes the game on establishing trust and being able to convert mm -hmm. any lead so much faster and most of the time eliminate your competition entirely from the mix. Mm -hmm. True. And these you guys, Espresso Agent Nation, you guys are making phone calls. So you're live in person with them on the phone. You're showing up for appointments. You've got your whole routine that you do around that. This is no different in that way, meaning you're still thinking off the top of your head. Right? It's just something about that camera staring at you makes us go crazy for some reason. But it's really no different than being sitting in front of them at their kitchen table. Absolutely. They're going to see you anyway eventually. It's true. And, and some people might not get to the kitchen table if they don't do something to stand out. This is right? true. What I'm going to review through a few of these questions, Aim. Is there anything, because we, we got off on like some really good bunny trails, I think you and I did on this. I think it was good <laughs> stuff. But is there anything that you feel like you wanted to make sure to cover with these guys? You know, just going over the, the three excuses, the top three, I'm uncomfortable in front of the camera. I feel like we overcame that. You're just going to have to get out there. You got to know if your pain is, is enough that you need to sell more properties, you're going to figure out how to make this work, right? Just get out there. They're going to see it anyway. Um, don't know when to use video or what to say. We talked about that. Um, you know, keep a list by your, by your computer and write down every time you repeat something to someone or, or you're, you've got a topic about got to explain earnest money. Write it down so that you can do a video and then you won't have to repeat it. That's a great one. Birthdays, price adjustments you know, uh, first expired connections, thank you for the uh, referral, whatever it is, virtual um, introductions, 
really easy ways to use video. Just start using it and see what happens. And then don't have the right camera or technology. I feel like we've, we've gone over the camera options and, and different ways that video can be processed um, through all the solutions. Do you have any other questions? I just wanted to make sure that people knew that their, their concerns or objections were solvable. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing was, the other objection was um, concerned about what and how to say it. It's, I guess, to me, you're saying these things that are important all day long to clients when you are interacting with them. Video is no different. It's just a different way to deliver it. Do you say that's fair? I would say don't overthink it. And, and like I said before, think about if, if Monica, you said to me, Amy, what would be a good topic? Um, why do I need to drive by houses before you show them to me? I don't understand. Um, and I would make a video just like I was leaving you a voicemail and I would say, Hey, Monica, it's Amy. Just wanted to answer your question about the drive by situation. This is why we do it. This is what the benefit is to you. Um, thanks so much for asking the question and I look forward to showing you, um, a house soon. And it's no different than leaving a voicemail. Just, you're just looking at a camera. That's all you're doing. That's true. How about this, guys? If you want to, you could give yourself permission for the first two weeks that you're doing video, give yourself permission to re-record things twice or three times. That's it. Like, give yourself a cap if you have to do that. And then you pick one of those three that you kind of like makes you look the least nerdy. And then the next week, weeks two and three, you only give yourself one retake, so two versions. And then eventually you'll be like, I don't have time to do another one. Here, I'm just going to do this and get it out there. I promise you, you will get that comfortable that quick. You will. And, you know, another idea I just thought of is we were just talking about what could they do Facebook Live-wise for the first time to yeah. feel good. What if you went on Facebook Live and you said, hey, you know, I'm trying to be out there and not be a secret agent. I want you guys to know I sell real estate. I'm going to start doing these Facebook videos. And I'm curious, what things do you want me to answer for you? What questions do you have? Just post them below, and I will start feeding out the answers to these questions, and you're going to give me the content that I'm going to deliver to you. And, I mean, that's a great first Facebook Live. And Perfect. Yeah, I love that. There's a list that. of things that people want to know. You know, another agent does a version of that, but she posts, hey, I'm going to go live at 3 o'clock today. What would you like me, give me two or three topics that you, you know, you'd like me to do. And she sort of preps it up. And then she says, you can private message me. So let's say you don't get any responses to that. It doesn't look like anybody, you know, any, everybody was ignoring you. It just looks like they used private message. Right. Um, and she comes on and I've seen her say, hey, we got some great questions today. And maybe they didn't. Maybe she just has decided to talk about something. Absolutely. Um, the other thing is just stuff you guys see in your daily job is amazing to people. The stuff that we see inside houses and the situations that we come across, people love that stuff. The good news is we're not selling insurance, right? We're, we're selling houses and people love it. So when you, you know, I don't know, see some crazy caged animal that people have some sort of snake pet or... The other day I did a post because I came across a collection of pornography like you would never have <laughs> even existed. Did you see that one? No. Oh, my you. God. It was an entire room of every uh, hustler and Playboy magazine that has probably ever been in print. And um, so we had to have a conversation about that. So I did a video about that because that's funny stuff that, you know, people can't even imagine what you guys see on a daily basis. So. Whatever, lighter side of real estate. I mean, it's relatable. It's it's something to talk about. It's fun. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's what you're going for. Right. Get creative. Okay, let's see, make sure we've got everything else. Um, concerned about what and how to say. We talked about that. Look like a fish out of water. I don't think you will look like a fish out of water. I mean, does Amy looks just like she looks if I went and had a conversation with her? I think you would, too. I do. I think you're being too hard on yourself. Do you agree, Aim? Yeah. I think it's just like 
I hate jumping in the pool, especially right now at the end of May. It's so cold in there, but you just got to do it, and then you'll feel good about just getting it over with. I thought I it off. I, I look at that because I hate being in a bathing suit, but you just got to <laughs> put it on and run out there. Just do it. Um, what products? We've kind of covered that. To I mean, if, Monica, what if you knew that if you connected with three people on a Facebook video and those three people each had an opportunity for you to sell their house and each opportunity led you to a $7,000 commission, could you make yourself get on there for $21,000? Hell yes. Put it in dollars. Yep. 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 That's true. Um, systems, we talked about that. I think we've covered almost everything. Um, all right. Oh, wait. There's a new one. Let me make sure. Should the camera be vertical or horizontal? Great question. Thank you for asking. It should always, what's this? Horizontal? It should yep. always be sideways. So if you're going to do a Facebook Live on your phone, you know, I always have my phone locked so it doesn't move when I do this, but I, you have to unlock it so that it's sideways. Otherwise, it's going to make those white lines, and it's awful. And if you put it on YouTube, it hates it. So always, always have your camera vertical. I know that it makes the, the live comments really narrow, but it's the best way to do it, and it's the best way for your viewers to receive it. That's a great, great question. Uh, last question, I think. What, what, where are we on time? Yeah. Oh, we went over. Um, you guys are awesome for sticking on here. Um, do, how, do you send a video to expireds and fizzbos by text or email? Whatever you guys got, whatever you got, I think works. You can do both. I mean, yeah. if you, like, for example, if you record the videos and you put them in Google Drive and you get that link, you can text the link. Or you can email the link or message, you can Facebook message the link. Um, you can send videos to people in Messenger now. And they can be as long as you want them to be on your computer. Now, on your phone, it's 15 seconds. But on your computer, you can talk to them for an hour on Facebook um, video. Messenger. OK, wow, that's cool. I didn't know that. A messenger. That's awesome. Right on your laptop. Amy has been using this, as she said, for a long time, guys, and I've gotten to witness it. If you want to friend Amy on her Facebook page, I recommend you do that. You can get ideas from her and spin that out in your market. I'm sure you don't mind about that, do you, Amy? No, I mean, that's how I learned how to do it. I watch other people. I watch you, Monica. I see what you're doing. I watch people in other states. I, I see how lenders are using it. I see how, you know, doctors are using video in their business, how churches are using video. And you just, it, you, I learn by example. So I like to just see it. And the more I see it, the more confident I am that I can repeat that. So I would just encourage you guys to watch other people and learn by that. Sort of like where we, where we were when we were all faxing and then we started scanning. And that was like, yeah, but what if they don't get it? What if, I think we should just fax it. It should be safer that way. And we're kind of on that same verge. Like at some point, we'll be looking back and can't even believe we ever typed a letter in the in Word. You know, it'll all be videos or something quick like that, I'm guessing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Amy, you've given us great tips. And I know, I know that you know this works because uh, you're living it every day. So guys, I hope you got some good information. If you're kind of feeling a little bit uneasy about it, just trust her. Trust her. It works. Try it out. Like, what's the worst that's going to happen? Nothing. Um, I hope you guys do integrate this because you guys are doing the hard work every day through Espresso. The fact that you are on the phones dialing like that, I mean, I admire you for that, Amy. I mean, I bet you do too. That's, um, that's the hard work. This helps you make that hard work easier easier right turn into cash dollars like you're you're right there take it to the next level Absolutely. Um, yeah amy are you running your class by the way your uh sell 100 percent of your listings yes i am actually going to run another live version of the class um let's see in late july i'll start that um so i can type in the link to get more information on that it's Sell 100% of your listings. It's a very detailed online course, 13 hours of video content. Um, I think there's like 15 different professionally designed 
um, documents that we've put together for agents to use. And when you finish, you graduate and become a master listing specialist. Um, and then you can put that in your email uh, signature line. You nice. Uh, we have a media kit that we give you so that you can go out and promote yourself as a master listing specialist after the course. So awesome. Type that in there, so, if you will, so that if anyone's interested. Um, Tom McKenna says that he's not as good looking as you are. That's why he can't do video. That's not an excuse. <laughs> Um, oh, Stephen, I'm just seeing this. Why don't I have any sound? I'm very sorry. I, he probably popped off after a while. The name of the Logic Tech camera is Logic Tech HD 1080p, as in Paul. I wrote it over on the comments. And also, Monica, just um, if anybody's interested in constantly getting ideas, suggestions, you know, technology, um, product recommendations, follow us, Storyteller, on Facebook. Um, we've, we've suggested the um, selfie sticks on there, um, different lighting that we recommend. We've awesome. got the Logitech, um, and we're showing people how to use video, what it looks like when they're using it. So just really uh, comprehensive stuff, and, and we'd love more suggestions on our Facebook page so that we can serve the people that have the questions and want more information. Um, and if you guys want to go to your Espresso agent um, Facebook page, too, and share some ideas. Hey, guys, I'm wanting to do my first live video. What are you doing? What's working? And you guys get that community going. That's always helpful, too. Um, Jeremy says, uh, can you embed videos in Espresso emails? I actually don't know the answer to that, but somebody from Espresso will reach out to you on that. It's Jeremy Brown is asking that. Maybe that's a great question for everyone to know the answer to. So um, we'll try to maybe post the answer to that on Facebook. How about that? Cool? Amy, you're awesome. Thanks again so much. I know that, you know, I shared some stuff in the beginning, and it wasn't to brag. It was just to share how the impact of video and the automation and ability to transform leads so much faster has really changed my business and my life and allowed me to do some other things that I never thought would be possible. Um, real estate, it can be a grind and you've got to also have a life. And um, I think this is one of the easy keys to making that happen. And I'm, I'm excited for everyone to embrace it, take action, and um, as I leave you, my favorite mantra that I live by is implement now, perfect later. It is a process. Get started and make it better as you go. That's awesome. All right, guys, thanks for joining us today. And we have um, a, a, you'll be getting another email about another uh, mastery session coming up soon. And I look forward to seeing you then. Thanks, Aim. Bye, thanks. Bye, everybody.